answer to your question, short answer is yes, we have been involved within Secretary of Transportation's uh, office. Uh, uh, we have been working very closely with her staff who have obviously then inputted into the national uh, strategy. Uh, we've made a very strong point that our ports uh, are our gateways to our economy. I mean, virtually everything in our economy flows through our ports, uh, our key gateway ports and then all of our smaller feeder ports really is where the majority of this nation's commerce gets done. And the importance of those ports and the connections from those ports via highway, via rail, uh, via adjacent air ports, and via the waterways uh, that we spoke of earlier, using Jones Act uh, vessels to move that cargo intercoastal throughout our, our country are all very, very vital and uh, need further investment if we want to keep pace with the, our growth uh, to keep the flow moving. That's great. Uh, so uh, perhaps you can't share with us, but um, are there specific elements uh, that you at Marad uh, brought to that discussion? Oh, uh, we, uh, we thought that the Maritime Highway uh, initiatives was very uh, important. That's, a, in our opinion, kind of an underutilized uh, mode of transport in our country uh, that could, uh, you know, significantly impact um, the highway congestion by removing a lot of uh, uh, containers that are moved around this country off, off of there, uh, where it makes sense to, where it economically uh, makes sense. And we have several operating marine highways uh, in this country right now that are doing just that, cuts down on pollution. Instead of having a whole lot of diesel engines moving things, you have one diesel engine moving uh, cargo around. Uh, so we think there's a great uh, benefit there. All right. Uh, let me ask about one particular program. Uh, you, uh, it's been around since 2008 or so, a small shipyard grant program. Do you anticipate this year that uh, you will be um, tendering uh, uh, grant applications for small shipyard grants? And do you know yet how much Marad will have to allocate for that? I haven't seen uh, any of the final numbers. I expect that the program will uh, continue to uh, exist and be utilized. It's a very popular program. We get roughly about 10 times the amount of uh, requests uh, for grants than, than we actually can submit. They, uh, they're typically small amounts of money, but they have big impact uh, across the, the uh, maritime ministry, typically in the maintenance and repair area that are very critical to maintaining uh, uh, the Coast Guard's vessels, uh, Red Reserve Force vessels, military sealift command vessels. We all benefit from uh, you know, investments in these small. Well, I'm, I'm I'm glad to hear that. It, in its in its early life, once it got started, it uh, um, did have some struggles staying alive. But members of this committee have been very strong advocates of the program of the small shipyard grant program. So, I was glad to see the allocation last year, and hope to see uh, continued support from this administration for that. Thank you. I yield back. Thank the gentleman. Mr. Weber is recognized. Thank you. Um, that was a, a great exchange between Congressman Garamendi uh, about the B-1 visas. And so uh, Admiral Nadeau, am I saying that right? My question is, and you may not know the specifics, but have there been instances where sailors, foreigners on those vessels, I, I know you said you issue uh, certificates to the vessel, but are there any reported instances where we have discovered sailors that were not qualified? Not to my knowledge on the OCS. No. Okay, fair enough. Um, so I think one of, the, one of the comments that was made earlier is about the Jones Act and vessels up in the waterways from the chairman, which, which I'm all about. Um, 